I've got seven eBay orders to ship out, but first, gosh, I wanna talk about like all the craziness that's going on with the post office. Hey guys, it's Friday, December 18th. Christmas is a week away. That really snuck up on us, didn't it? Uh, in my last video, you guys saw me go to the thrift store and buy a whole bunch of Department 56 stuff. There are a total of four boxes, and one of them is just huge. I counted them up yesterday. There's 102 pieces. Some of them are really small, like just accessories and stuff, but there's some bigger ones too. And I thought long and hard about what I wanted to do with these, because to be honest, I don't love listing these. They're not super fun to me. But a local friend of mine who also resells, uh, I think he does like less than these, and he makes some decent money on them. I've actually sold him some of these before, so I reached out to him, and I'm just selling them the whole lot. I'll end up profiting about 50, 60 bucks on them, just selling them is a lot, but I'm happy with that. Just move on from them and he can make some money because I've got no shortage of inventory and I've got two big buys lined up for next week. So I got to keep stuff moving. So I'm just moving these all at once and go let him make some money on them. So I'm pretty happy about that. I've got seven eBay orders to ship out, but first, gosh, I want to talk about like all the craziness that's going on with the post office. I'm getting three to four messages a day on eBay saying, why isn't my item here yet? Like, why can't I track it? What's going on? This happens every year. The post office is overwhelmed. They're overworked. You know, they don't have any extra employees for the most part this time of year. And they're getting like 10 times the amount of packages. You know, everything leading up to Christmas just gets crazy. And all the buyers for eBay are looking at the estimated arrival date and they're saying, oh, it should be here this day or whatever, and it's not. I really put all this blame on eBay. eBay is really missing the mark with this because from the seller's perspective, we'll get messages from eBay, you know, when we're going to ship an item, it'll say, oh, the post office is experiencing delays, consider, you know, using another option. Most of the time, that's not gonna work. With smaller items um, that will cost three or $4 for the post office, they'll cost 10 or 12 with FedEx and the buyers don't want to pay that. So from our perspective, the only thing we can do is get it out as fast as possible. And that's what I always try to do. I get it out the next day. But eBay, the reason they're missing the mark is because they're not making that same communication with the buyer. Right now, every single person that buys on eBay needs to see a big, bold, red warning that says your item may be delayed in shipment because of, you know the post office is experiencing delays and they're not doing that. They're just showing like, oh yeah, guaranteed two day, three day, like eBay started this guaranteed thing a while ago because they're trying to compete with Amazon and there's just a big miscommunication right now and the sellers are the ones that have to apologize to the buyers and say, you know, like we're doing everything we can and like it, it's just not good. It leads to a lot of bad stuff. Could be potentially bad feedback, mad buyers, it's just not good. All right, I'm gonna get off my soapbox. I just had to talk about that for a minute because I'm sure a lot of people watching this are experiencing the same problem. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is a D2. This is a Bible I picked up last week at an estate sale. Paid $2 for it, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Carol got that Bible. Carol, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next is a bobblehead in A3. This is a Bo Schimbeckler bobblehead, a uh, former coach of the Michigan Wolverines football team. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a lot of watches in B2. I bought a bunch of watches from Danny and Parker uh, a couple weeks ago and decided to do some auctions with them. Uh, I did an auction with this one starting at a dollar and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Those watches are going out to viewer and they say, Merry Christmas, John and family, a long time viewer of your YouTube videos. Thanks for all the great information, Mike and Molly. Mike and Molly, Merry Christmas to you as well, and thank you for the support. Next is a lot of Hallmark ornaments. I labeled it HM2. I see HM1 right there, so I'm wondering where I put HM2. Here we go. Got these from Kevin, the Tennessee Picker, um, and these were ones that I didn't think would do well on their own, so I just did a big lot of 10, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a book in E1. This is a Battlestar Galactica book from the 70s. This was in my storage unit. It was a big box of random books that I listed yesterday. Um, that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Randy bought this, who has bought a lot for me in the past. Randy, thank you so much for the continued support. Hope you like the book. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is a hat in C2. This is a Miller High Life hat, um, corduroy, something I got from Danian Parker. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. 
Earlier this week, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing an inventory overhaul, and today I'm going to get started. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of it done today, but I'm at least going to get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the totes, and I'm going to go to a shelf system. I've seen Kevin the Tennessee Picker do this, Lonnie. I've seen a number of people do this, and it seems to work pretty well. And I think it's going to maximize the space a little bit better. So, for example, instead of doing B1, 2, 3, all these totes and everything, I'm going to go by shelf. So, like... Up here will be B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. I'm probably gonna use some of these banker's boxes. I've got about a dozen or so, just for like smalls and things like that that won't sit nicely on the shelf. And I think it'll better maximize my space and it should be easier to pull orders too. That way, you know, every time I'm not opening up a tote and just digging around in there and just taking up more time. So let's get this started. All right, here's what the first rack looks like. I tried to put uh, stuff on top that I could just do a quick grab. I can see what it is. Uh, stuff in the middle, like I wanted to be able to look down in these boxes to see some of the smalls. I didn't change the inventory codes of every item. So it might be a little bit tricky pulling orders as they come, as I'm, you know, as I'm getting more orders, but everything is at least A. So, you know, everything that was on here was like A1, A2, A3, whatever. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find stuff. But moving forward, you know, anytime I put something on here, I can do it, you know, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And then I made boxes for the small. So like, you know, A2, 1 for smalls, A3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, so on and so forth. So I think this is going to work out pretty well. It's definitely opened up some space already. It's not, you know, as pretty and clean as the bins, but I think it's going to make order pulling a lot easier and also open up some space. All right, before I end this video, I want to draw for a couple of postcards. I try to do this once a month, draw for a postcard and let somebody pick out anything they want out of my merchandise store, like hats, hoodies, shirts, whatever. And I think it's been a couple months since I've done it. So I'm gonna draw two of them. Let's see here. All right, first one, look at that picture, that's funny. This is from uh, Robert Richard. Uh, here is another vacuum, love the channel. So uh, Robert message me, let me know uh, what you want from my store and I will send it out to you. Let's do one more. Oh dang, that's a cool one. Monkeys. This is from Rhonda Judge. So Rhonda, message me. My email is below in the description. Let me know what you want and I'll get this sent out to you. If you guys want to be entered to win in the monthly drawing, just send me a postcard. My address is down below in the description. All right, I also got a letter. Maybe it's a card I want to open. This is from Barter Mania. John, what a crazy 2020. Thanks for doing a great job and keeping us entertained, educated, plus distracted during the chaos. Irish luck for a great 2021. Travis at Barter Mania. Got a sticker and the Irish clover. That is cool, man. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate that. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.